We're at 1730 dollars just to own the house. Alright. What's going on YouTube? Cuban SRT here. As you can see. Come along, come along, come along. A lot of you guys have been giving me hate for the window sticker. I like it. Scarface, I'm Cuban. Scarface is Cuban. Got the font. But anyway, in today's video, I got my little script here on this messed up piece of paper. What we're gonna be talking about is the Hellcat price and payments. So this Hellcat, I'm, it, and it's dirty right now, all right? I needed to wash it, just came out of work. It gets dark super fast, like at five o'clock, it's already dark. Um, so I'm gonna basically, I'm gonna, I'm gonna open it up for you guys. Um, you know, talk about everything. Um, so first things first, as you can see, we got the red interior. Um, I, I did not want to go with black because I've had a black hell. If you look at my old videos, um, the Hellcat had a black cloth material with like red stitches and that was cool, but I really wanted leather and as you can see, it just it just really makes it pop when you walk inside of it. So I had to get that. I think there was no add-on cost to do that because it was already, um, it's like already leather. It's, it's only an add-on cost if you do like the Laguna leather. Um, don't quote me on that, but if you've ever been a Hellcat, I, you know what I'm talking about. Um, and we'll go right here. I got the red Brembo brakes. Um, so I went red. I basically wanted to make this a black red uh, colorway. Um, so I just think the black and red makes it look a lot uh, nicer. Um, I'll pop the hood real quick. So I'm gonna pop the hood. You guys, this ain't a fake Hellcat. Supercharged, you already know. So this is a 2022. It come with a uh, 717 horsepower. Um, we'll go ahead and start it in a few. But so anyways, I've been talking a lot, so I'm gonna talk about the price. So the final price of the window sticker was 84,500 uh, something dollars. Um, so that comes with, like I said, the red interior, the red Brembo's. Uh, I don't, what was like an additional cost? I would have to look at the window sticker again, but I don't think it was like no crazy cost. I didn't put a, a sunroof because I want to eventually in the future put the, the moon lights on there. So I didn't do that. Um, but yeah, like with tax, gas guzzler is going to put you like if, if it's a straight up Hellcat, it's like 79,000 around there. But with the gas guzzler tax, because it's brand new and the, and the tax is going to put you at like 4,000 extra. So that's why you get to like the 84,000 around there. Um, but if it wasn't for those taxes, you'd probably be looking at 78,000. So like I said, that's 84,000 something for the window sticker. What I pay monthly, I pay monthly on this car, um, $1,140. That is for a term of 96 months. Don't laugh at me. Why did I get 96 months? We're going to talk about in the, in a future video, like all the reasoning, but a quick summary is because I'm obviously not gonna have this car for 96 months. I usually don't keep my cars this long. I could probably see myself keeping this car for like two, three years, maybe four max, but you know, in and out of cars. So, um, and that's with an interest rate of uh, 6%. Obviously you get a lot lower interest rate um, with shorter terms, but a lot of people are paying like $1,500, $1,800 for on their, on their uh, cars. And that's probably because they do a shorter term and they're putting down payments on these cars. I did not put no down payment on this car, and I'm gonna tell you how that was possible in a later video, guys. I'm gonna basically explain how to do this stuff um, the way you need to, so the dealerships don't scam you at your money. Um, I've been, I put out my money on all these other cars, scat back, and my other Hellcat, I had to put 8,000 and another like 4,000 down, which did, really didn't do nothing for the monthly payment. So keep your money. We're gonna explain that in another video. All right, so another thing, another thing you gotta keep in consideration when you're talking about the price of this car is the miles per gallon. As you can see, this thing eats it up. Like this engine is huge. I'm gonna, uh, so come in and follow. I'm gonna, uh, you guys come in and follow. I'm gonna turn the car on so you see what the miles per gallon is on right now. So I'm gonna let it start up real quick. So as you can see, let it load up. It's on 9.5 a gallon. And I've seen people do a lot worse than that. Some people have it on like four. I know red eye owners have that shit on like three, four, five. It's pretty low because when, when you're pushing it that much, it just eats it up. 
Um, it's probably gonna get better because it's brand new. I've been just stepping on it like crazy. It's just fun, man. You have a car like this, you're gonna be stepping on it. But so let's say, for example, I filled this thing up yesterday, it's already under half. And that's just driving around last night and today it's already under half a gallon. To fill up the tank, if you go to like somewhere like BJ's or Sam's Club, you're probably looking at um, $40, 50 dollars of fill up. I'm gonna turn the car off real quick so you guys can hear me better. All right, so to fill up the tank, you're probably looking at $40, 50 dollars of fill up. And um, I would say my, my scat pack, I would fill it up maybe once a week. This thing I'm filling up maybe two, three times a week. So if we do the math, um, I'll do the math right now. You got your phone on you? <laughs> oh, shit, you motherfucker had a light on. All right, guys. So if we do the math, let's say $45 on average. I'm filling this thing up three times a week, four weeks in a month. So you're looking at like $540. Just on gas. That's more than what I was paying on my car note of my, uh, that's more than what I was paying on my car note on my Toyota Corolla. 500, I was only paying like $400. That's still a lot for a Corolla. I didn't know all this credit stuff that I knew I do now. So that's a lot, just on gas. So 540 plus the 1,140 that I'm paying, that's already $1,680 on the cat. And we haven't even got to insurance. Insurance, not too bad. I know a lot of people probably paying like $300, $400 because they're by themselves, but I'm on a family plan with all my family. So I got this car. It only bumped the plan up like $40, $50 more a month. So I say plus 50, we're at $1,730 just to own the Hellcat, all right, monthly, just to, just to have this thing, all right? All right, guys, so one thing I didn't mention, my bro reminded me, I did not pay no markup on this car at all. Like straight up, no markup. A lot of dealers charging 10K, 20K, 30K over. I've seen this cat pack going for like 100K used. So this is no markup. If you're in Fayetteville, North Carolina, go ahead and go to Crown Dodge. Ask for Jake. Dude gets me right every time. Um, but yeah, literally, we did the math. What was it, around 1,700? 1,730. Yeah, so that's how much it, it, it's looking like to uh, afford a Hellcat monthly. Um, I got another video on how much it is to afford a scat, so if you're interested in that, go check that one out. Um, and to, just so you guys know I'm not lying about the markup, go check out my taking delivery of my Hellcat video. I got the window sticker in that video towards the end, so you guys can see I'm not lying about that. Um, but yeah, guys, um, I got a lot of love on the other videos, so I, I really appreciate you guys showing love. Um, if you like this content, please comment, uh, like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. It helps the algorithm. Um, so really thank you guys. More videos coming soon.